You remember our video on Scott Fovel and Democracy Partners back in October? Scott Fovel there pictured. He was talking about inciting violence at Trump rallies. He was also talking about busing people across state lines, sometimes using fake IDs and buses and rental cars to vote illegally. It's the legality. Uh, well, yeah. Because you can prove conspiracy if there's a bus. Yeah. If there are cars, it's much harder to prove. And there's enough money. If there's enough money, then you have people drive their POV. Absolutely. Or you have them drive rentals. So after we released that video, we got contacted by the Wisconsin Attorney General, requested the tapes, and our attorney sent the Attorney General all the tapes. That happened back in October 31st, 2016. So this week, the Wisconsin Attorney General finally releases their report on our videos. And it looks like they didn't even watch the raw material that we sent them. This is the report from the Attorney General. Roy Corte is the Director of Criminal Litigation in the Wisconsin AG's office. So in this report, the AG is attacking our credibility. He's attacking the recordings. Again, it looks like he hasn't even watched the recordings we sent him. He says, quote, the supplemental recordings provided are suspect First, there are none of the usual signs of a complete recording. He says, the recordings start in the middle of discussion. Well, that's because we don't show the video of our journalist in the parking lot. He talks about that there is a, a gap. He says that there are inaccuracies in, in, the, in the time counter. Well, the time counter is the thing on the upper left hand of the screen on our hidden camera. It's a ticker. It doesn't, it doesn't reflect the time of day, and that ticker resets constantly. But he, it looks as though the Attorney General here is playing some politics. Uh, he writes a whole bunch of gobbledygook about the recordings and how long they are. But what's interesting is that when we sent our recordings to the United States Attorney in D.C., after the story we did on Antifa, remember that video? Yeah, if you had a freaking pint of butyric acid, I don't care how big the building is, it's closed and it's staying closed for a while. Yeah, too. yeah. Um, and, and this stuff is, like, it's very efficient. It's very, very smelly. It lasts a long time. And a little of it goes a long way. We were the original play. We could use all that same stuff. And then I can break the cans with, you take with a plunger, some stiff rubber bands, and a safety pin thing. So all you got to do is pull the pin and press the plunger the whole pin discharge it. They thought that recordings warranted an investigation. In this case, the Wisconsin Attorney General did not even think the recordings warranted an investigation. Now, unless you actually interview people and talk to witnesses and look at the recordings, you're not going to determine if a law was broken. So if you don't at least even start an investigation, you'll never know if there was material enough to substantiate an arrest. But this AG doesn't even talk about that. He focuses only on the recordings themselves. Uh, and, and one of the interesting things here, he says on page five of this report, he says, quote, the recording is not clear whether the conversation occurred in Wisconsin, which would be necessary for any potential venue. This is laughable. This is unbelievable that he's saying this. The recording takes place in this bar called Garfield's 502 in Milwaukee. Any two-bit investigator worth their salt, looking at a bunch of videos and images inside of an establishment in Milwaukee, would deduce that it's in Milwaukee. Come on, Attorney General. You're, 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 you're showing your cards here. You didn't watch the tapes and you don't care to investigate. This is about politics. This is about attacking Project Veritas because you think that our Achilles heel is our tapes and whether they're credible or not. We gave you transcripts. We gave you full transcripts. But if the state of Wisconsin is not going to do their job, then, then we should, you should be investigated. We should investigate you and you should lose your job. Scott Fobel lost his job, as did Bob Creamer back during the election. They were fired for their comments. Instead, you focus on the authenticity of the recordings. So shame on you, and uh, stay tuned.